We're at Money 2020 and a we trade is demonstrated here. We trade is a way that uh, small medium companies can just do trading easily and get paid for it in an easy way. And uh, tomorrow we're going to show that also at the um, um, Blockchain Innovation Conference, but already have a sneak preview. Product owner is Marleen, Marleen Wapenaar. And um, what, what, tell me, what is we trade? We trade is a uh, European uh, platform for uh, SME customers who do international business. Yeah. And they want to do business with each other. They send each other products and they want to get paid. Yeah, exactly. That is what it is. Yeah. But I mean, I can send them an invoice and then they get paid. What is now, how does that work with WeTrade? Well, WeTrade makes it more easy and more digital to do the whole trade process. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, you can also have uh, finance uh, functions and you can also have more payment guarantees. Okay, let's unpack that. Okay, those are not the smallest group of banks. Blockchain brought them together. It's Hyperledger of IBM based and uh, they're not the smallest one. I see here Deutsche Bank. Yeah, and for example, Unicredit is in Germany, and if you go to United Kingdom, HSBC, which is a worldwide bank, yeah. and also uh, in France, a couple of banks, and uh, up north, we have Nordia for the Scandinavian uh, countries, yeah. and South Banco Santander. Yeah, that's really a great group. So, it is a smart contract, it's a smart contract on steroids, and uh, you have a lot of other things. What is the marketing directory and the smart contracts directory? Well, the marketing directory is very interesting. Um, if you want to do uh, business with a customer, uh, with a client, and uh, one of the suppliers cannot deliver the beer you want, then you can look up for another supplier and you can do business with him. So that is what the marketing directory is uh, mentioned for. And social scoring means that uh, different parties can rate each other. So, well, it, w it works uh, l like Marketplace or uh, Zoovers, as uh, examples like that. And, uh, you can imagine that if you do Okay, I want to start a trade. How do I do that? Well, first of all, you start here with the transaction details, which you fill out. And uh, then, in the next phase, yeah. you can also choose for bank services like the BPU and the BPU financing, uh, right here. And they take care... These are the conditions of the smart contract, right? The invoice has to be accepted by the buyer. Yeah. That's logical. The goods have to be delivered, confirmed by the buyer. But it can also be, uh, you know, if it's day, it's L has uh, delivered uh, the stuff. And then you have a dashboard view. Yeah, right here. And here you can find everything which you uh, want to know about your trade transactions, when uh, the shipments are done and when uh, you have to pay and when the payments come in. So if all the conditions are met of the contract and uh, you cannot influence it anymore, if the goods are delivered, you have already accepted the invoice, then the payment is automatically initiated by one of these nine banks. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. And it's easy to connect everybody to that uh, network. And how long ago, how long ago um, did you start with this project? Well, I was involved a long time ago, already two years ago. And then we started with a proof of concept with uh, KBC Bank in Belgium. And we did uh, a proof of concept with uh, our Dutch uh, customer from Rabobank. Jasper, the business architect, how does it actually work on the background? On the background, uh, if you look at the blockchain part, it is on a transactional level. So what we want to achieve with the banks, eh, that when we do a transaction, that the transaction is only done between... Uh, the two banks that are involved in that. It's peer-to-peer. -peer. Yeah. It's peer-to-peer -peer and it's on transaction level and it also means that only they share that information. And, uh, so Rabobank only has the information about uh, transactions from the Rabobank and the other banks. So it's not like everybody shares everything. Yeah. But do you share like client information? If I look up a customer uh, and, I, and he, you know, I have to look up if the customer works, it has a Deutsche Bank account. Yeah, so we, have, uh, we achieve something different for that part. Yeah. So uh, when, w when we want to share customer information, we do that on the yellow pages. And that's a different part. That's also not on the blockchain. That's separately from the blockchain. We have a marketplace there where they can find each other, but also they can score each other. So The rating. Okay, so the, the marketplace part. is a rating part and then a social score. But then you have a directory and I can look up and uh, that the information is uh, right there. Yeah, exactly. And then the transactions uh, and then the, the transaction is done when the conditions of the contract are met. How is that arranged? Uh, so uh, the both parties uh, put the, the things in the blockchain, eh, on in the smart smart contract. Yep. And for instance, when the ship is uh, co coming into port and the trigger is done towards the smart contract, okay, you can now pay. Mm -hmm. 
and then technically the platform will make a payment towards the bank and then the payment is done via the bank over yeah, over the traditional the swift uh, network or something yeah. like that okay. and how easy is it to uh, expand the conditions of the contract so that the, the, the custom uh, needs to approve or that the uh, DHL needs to be integrated or so all the other part parties in this chain yeah we have an API platform uh, in the plan uh, so we built a platform with different solutions yeah. and one of the solutions that, that we made is that we have an API platform that connects to the different parties easily so we can connect with different APIs okay. so I'm an extra bank and yeah. uh, I'm in, uh, I'm in uh, Slovakia. How, do I, how, can I, uh, how can I integrate in this platform? Uh, if you want to uh, become a member, uh, you get, we have a license model and uh, you have to sign a contract yeah. with us. And then we have an... Uh, so we trade is a separate company. Yeah, it's a com where is it located? And it's, uh, located in Dublin. So uh, we have a separate company. We started in Dublin yeah. with uh, also th they have their own rules and regu uh, regulations. Yeah. Uh, and we also made a rule book. So everything is done via that company. And also if you want to onboard, you have contact with that company and they can offer you a cloud solution. Okay, great. I signed the contract. And what do I need to do technical? How difficult is it? It's very easy for a bank to join and to onboard because uh, you can uh, get everything from the cloud. So in the first stage, you don't have to integrate if you don't want to integrate. And uh, so it means I can have an uh, I can have a sign that I need to pay th that the all the contracts uh, conditions are met. So you can pay. It can be an email to an uh, to somebody at an employee at the bank if you want to make it very simple. If yeah, if you if you make it that simple, it could be like that indeed. Okay. So it can be automatically, uh, or it can yeah. be completely automatically done. Yeah. Uh, something more complex, uh, if a custom uh, wants to integrate? Yeah, so uh, what we see is that some banks want to integrate, like uh, the identity and experience management part. Eh? You don't want to uh, tell your uh, customer that he has to log on on this platform in a different way than we normally do. Yeah. And then you get uh, the in integrating part. And there we ch have chosen for also standards that are common in the market. And all the banks are using the same standard also now at this moment. So And that's also great because we're also making our standards. and. Uh, now we have sef seven or six banks that are using exactly the same uh, interface for, uh, for instance, signing of the contract. How many people work in the company? Uh, at this moment it's a very small company. So uh, we have a CEO and uh, we have uh, two business developers and I think... So like ten, less than 10 uh, people? Less than pe 10 people indeed, yes. But that has to grow and this could be a hub for all kinds of things. So the contracts could be more complicated. The amount of parties uh, which is integrated, yeah. more banks, but also you know more transport companies and customs, and that is basically made uh, with that. And how long have you worked on that? Uh, I, I work from the beginning on the project. Uh, you work at the Rabobank part. Uh, yeah, but, but uh, I'm also uh, the business architect uh, for We.Trade, so I also help the consortium with some other business architect to really realize uh, this uh, solution. It's been fun to work with all these banks and uh, uh, to agree on everything. Yeah, it's always fun. Uh, we have a lot of interesting discussions with each other, and of course, we not uh, always agree with each other because uh, we have all. Uh, everybody has his own opinion. About Italian, that. Swiss, Germans. We are Scandinavian, French. Yeah, it's, <laughs> but it's nice. Eh? You learn a lot also from each other and how you can uh, really uh, find a way to go forward because that's really necessary. Eh? If you want to work together and you want to make this a success, you have to, sometimes you have to say, okay, we do it in this way. It's maybe not the way I would do it, but it's a way that we can achieve our uh, goal. Pricing of the service, you know, so this is a uh, way to uh, conditional transfer of money uh, how m and, and how, how much do you charge for that? I don't uh, know exactly what the pricing is. Uh, that's not... Uh, I only hear it was way cheaper than, uh, than a traditional letter of credit. Uh, the you mean for the customer what the pricing is? Yeah, yeah it's uh, way cheaper. So uh, the interesting part is uh, ju just using the platform at this moment, only the smart contract part yeah. is uh, yeah, it's, uh, the euros eh? yeah. and uh, not more than that. And the financing part is also very interesting because we have found a new way of doing financing uh, with uh, bank payment undertaking. That's a really new product. Mm -hmm and therefore we can also make the financing much cheaper for our clients. Uh, You're actually reinventing the whole way these payments are done by building a complete new system. You can make it much more rational and, s and smart. Yeah, that's, uh, that's right. So we really looked how can we find a solution uh, that where the products are very simple to use and you, hey, you, you, you really understand it. Hey, I'm a business architect but I also understand those uh, products uh, business-wise very easily. So. Uh, 
Thank you. Okay, so this was a nice example of how the blockchain can help to integrate nine different banks in Europe. Make a product which is way cheaper, make it much easier to integrate multiple parties uh, in this, uh, this thing. So, I think, great! We're going from PROC, from Proof of Concept, to production.